Adele has a fascinating feel-good doco that introduces us to one of the world's greatest card magicians, Richard Turner, who also happens to be completely blind. To tell us more, please welcome to the cafe the film's director, Luke Corum. Yes! Welcome. Good to have you here, Luke. Thank you. Came all the way from Austin, Texas just for this show. I know. Just, for this, just show. for this right here. No, no, that is good because I love Austin, actually. You know, uh, we know Texans love to have a good time. You're going to have a good time here. I'm oh, we've, sure. ha yeah, we've had a great time in Auckland. It's nice. Great, yeah. This film is pretty incredible, and if you're watching it at the start and you don't know that Richard's blind, you don't actually pick up on the fact that he is completely blind. I mean, do you? I mean, how did the story come about? Yeah, um, and first, that is true. Um, whenever Richard performs, it is never mentioned that he is blind because he is the greatest in the world with a deck of cards. So he doesn't want people to know he's blind, which is kind of a conflict within the film. But um, I actually grew up with magic. My dad made his living as a magician for many years. I performed with him. And um, after I finished my first film, he introduced me to Richard and was like, you have to make a film about this guy. He is unbelievable. And um, yeah, so it's been a, a three-year journey making the film. And I guess you would have learned a lot about him while you were making it, but was it his skill or was it his attitude by the time you finished making this doco that you were more in love with, I guess? Well, I think the hook was, you know, he's the best in the world and he's blind, but really what the film gets deeper in is how he doesn't want people to know that he's blind because he wants people to treat him um, you know, like when people would say, oh, you're blind, they'd be like, oh, well, then they, they lower their standard for what mm. they're going to see well, the for his talents. Right. Exactly. Oh, and so his whole life has been fighting that. And his sister also went blind, and she handles it differently. She has a seeing eye dog and a cane. And Richard, he absolutely refuses to do that. And so there's some conflicts yeah. that arise in the film. So Richard's walking along, and he doesn't have a cane or anything. He's got his wife who leads him. Uh, I loved his sister's, though. She's got this little gadget, which um, she can take a, it's like a scan of money, and it tells her what the dollar bill is, or it's like, like it's a, if it's a dollar, so she can scan her money. Yeah, she's super independent. You know, she doesn't want anyone to help her. Um, and Richard's very independent too, but they're just in different ways. So he's also a six degree black belt martial artist, which um, you know is wild in itself. So. Yeah. And, and, and obviously, you know, he's quite well known, but, you know, you were drawn to him specifically. Uh, was it anything off limits that you weren't allowed to film when you were making it? Yeah, so the film has a lot of cinema verite where it's kind of like fly on the wall approach where you follow him. Richard is a complete performer and he's actually a little too open. Okay, wow. so there's a lot of times where we have to say, <laughs> Richard, I don't want to film that. Like he would call me and be like, I'm about to go in for surgery. Do you want to film this? But <laughs> Richard, no, I don't need that for the film. So the, the thing about Richard is that he's also always got a deck of cards in his hands, hasn't he? And he opens up the cupboard in, one of, in his room and it's basically wall to wall with no. decks of cards. Yeah. If he was sitting here right here, he'd be shuffling cards. He never puts them down. He falls asleep with them. What else um, does he do with them? Well, he makes love with them. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little spoiler alert that's in the film. But, uh, <laughs> wow. He's, very, he's extremely comical and, and uh, yeah, he's, he's a wild ride. His wife is a patient woman. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's all about, I guess it's all about, you know, the feel, isn't it, with cards. So yeah, but there's a time and a place. No, well, that can play <laughs> in your hand, I guess. <laughs> it is very soothing to him, actually. He puts, has them in his hand all the time just because it's very soothing to him, right. gives him something to, to be connected with. Um, and think about it, if you can't see anything, it's nice mm -hmm. to actually always be having something that you're in contact with. And, and I think he, that's something for him. And he tests cards for a company. Yes. Yeah, for U.S. playing card company, he makes all the playing cards for Bicycle and B. A lot of the ones you see in casinos, etc. He's actually their car touch analyst. They say he can feel within one one thousandth of an inch. Jeez, you know, what fascinates me is that how does he know that it's not going right, you know? I mean, that's why you've got to watch this doco, because there's lots of little twists in it as well. What, what did he make of the documentary and his family? What did he make? Yeah, what, what did he think of it? Oh, well, the first time we showed it to him, you know, it's not exactly the film that he wanted to be made at first. Because, you know, anytime you show, you make a film about somebody, you need to have all the conflicts in there. And it's really hard, uh, if I were to make a film about your life and you were to sit back and watch all your conflicts and failures and all your achievements, that's not exactly easy to watch. But Credit Richard, he goes, well, I understand why you had the kicks to the groin in there as you did, uh, but that's a good film, and I appreciate that. So uh, he's like, if it was up to me, I'd just be Superman the whole time, but I understand why you made it the way you did. Mm. So. Interesting family relationships, too, in the movie. Tell us a little bit about his son. His son, yeah. Tell us his son's name. This is great. Okay, Ace of Spades is his son's name. Uh, or, uh, how do you spell it? Like Just a like, a, like the Ace of Spades. Like, no way. Yeah, eight, well, except for it's Asa, A-S-A, -A, and Asa then Spades. Spades. Yeah, that turn, is yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. There's a picture of Richard when Ace is born and has little Ace of Spades in his hand. And um, yeah, it's very. Uh, it's you know he he wanted his son to fall in his magic footsteps, obviously and stuff. And that's also in the film. So it's the whole family is very much a part of the narrative arc in the in the movie.
And, you know, that's why I love. I mean, it's a fascinating yarn, full stop. But what do you want us to take away? Because, you know, at the moment, the New Zealand International Film Festival is going off. There's a lot of great documentaries. When we go and see this one, what do you want us to walk away feeling? Yeah, well, this is one of the most inspirational figures you will ever see on film. Um, and what's great is it's a true story. I mean, this, there, everything in this... Um, Richard is the most positive person. He takes anything that is an adversity in his life and he turns into a positive and he lets nothing hold him back. And I think when you watch the film, you can't help but feel that in your own life nice. and say, what is holding me back? Mm. You know. So I think people will not only that, I think you'll laugh and you'll also cry during it. So it's a really good, uplifting film. Yeah, because Richard is a very funny guy as well. Hey, Luke, thank you for coming all this way to talk. Yeah, yeah, just for us. Yeah. Yeah. I got to appreciate that. Yeah. I hope you come back on the cafe. Excellent. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll have you anytime, anytime mate. Right. Yep. Delta is part of the New Zealand International Film Festival showing in Wellington on August the 10th. For ticket details, go to nziff.co.nz.